Welcome everybody to the Roseland Exchange. It's me, Roseland, and today we're going to be starting our Let's Play in a bit of a familiar little world. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to see uh, a little bit of the old Minecraft uh, uh, world generation as, uh, as our starting place in this world. And in this episode, we'll probably be running through just about the first night in a, in a bit as I start to get set up in the survival world. Starting out, of course, we gotta uh, punch some trees and, uh, you know, get started from there. I've been playing this game since... early beta? Well, I've been watching it at least since early beta. I got it at about 1.7, which uh, which is pretty exciting because uh, this little starting area that we're playing in is uh, from beta 1.7, which is pretty exciting. I uh, took the liberty of loading a bit of the world around us. Uh, the world generation after that is going to be full release uh, 1-16, I think is what we're on right now. So. Uh, so that should be pretty interesting. It's actually been a while since I played uh, survival uh, Minecraft. I've been spending most of my time the past few years uh, learning a bunch of redstone stuff in creative worlds and, you know, honing my skills. Um, but I'm sure that we'll get to that at some point. Now, I'm trying to think of uh, where we should uh, try to settle down at least in the very beginning. I know that there's some mountains off in that direction, so I think that we're going to start with that. Uh, we have a bit of a bit of wheat working for us, so we should have food settled pretty quickly. And I think our main goal is going to be to start collecting some of the animals around and uh, start uh, setting up our infrastructure. Of course, uh, this game, this uh, particular Let's Play is going to be less of a tutorial series and more of a uh, comfy sit down with your snacks and uh, and play some nice calm Minecraft for a little while at least. some hills over there. We actually are going to keep on going this way a little ways. This, uh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. A bit of a little hill for us to settle down in and the valley around it to take advantage of. This should work pretty well. Oh, that's kind of curious little formation right there. Oh, well, it looks like the sun is setting, so we're going to be in for our first night. Now, I'm no, uh, no PvP uh, master player at all, actually, in this game. But um, I'm not terribly concerned about uh, surviving the night, though it might be uh, <laughs> not great uh, viewing for everybody. So uh, we'll have to figure that out at least in a bit. There. Let's go to the top of this hill. Ooh, hey, look at that. Um, relatively quiet cave. Hmm. Set up that. We're gonna use a couple of our planks. Direction. 
So the trick here, at least in the early uh, day night cycle, is that uh, baby zombies is that we just want to make sure that we're relatively safe. Mm, it would be rather difficult for something to follow us all the way up here at this distance, so we're just going to make it even more difficult for them and begin to build the first set of tools, which I'm just going to make the wooden pick because it's really a waste to build anything else. Hmm, hey, look at that. Advancements. That's new since <laughs> since the last one played. Well, at least in survival. I tend to think of Minecraft in the more mm, technical direction. So, for example, you might notice that I'm not moving around a whole lot here at night. And that's because uh, mobs can't spawn within 20 blocks of you. Uh, and, they, and then they will spawn beyond that all the way out to 120, and then they will immediately vanish if you go beyond that. So. So, by uh, staying still, we can uh, make use of this time. Mm, mining is uh, a little on the boring and slow side early on. Wrong thing. Those are going to be our starting tools. We're going to put that thing away for forever. And, uh, yeah, get to setting up. Now, as far as actual accommodations, my ideal goal would be to not really spend much time in the night. For that, we're going to need a bed. So i got to find sheep. I don't remember seeing any on our way here. Oh, hi. Gravel. Nice. So we might have to uh, do a little bit of exploration to find some sheep. Hmm. It looks like it is still nighttime outside, though it is bright. Would you look at that? The video from this first night might be a little bit uh, dark on a few monitors, so I'll try to brighten it up in post. But yeah, this is this is that mysterious first night that people seem terribly concerned about. I have seen a few of a few of my favorite YouTubers go through the first nights, uh, kind of swinging it around this way and that, and um, they seem to do pretty well for themselves. We got some iron. That's nice. Only two though. That's uh, that's sad. Yeah, that'll help us set up the farmland in a second. As far as actual home bases, we might split our time between this area where we might do some mining if we follow that mine shaft down, and um, and those fields out where we saw the animals. Those will be easier to work around. Oh. Nah. Should use that. Yeah, I'm just spending this night mining away. I uh, may have noticed already, but I've been speeding through some of the uh, more time-consuming sections of this. It seems uh, the first night there's, uh, there's kind of very little going on, and I'll uh, I'll be sure to respect your time by uh, making calls on uh, uh, showing you stuff based on entertainment value. 
So most of this will probably be sped up. At least in some capacity. Hey, nice. Uh, so since this is quite literally the second video on this channel, I'm, uh, I'm going to be reserved in much of my expectations here. I'm, I'm really going to more focus on actually playing this game than trying to go any particular direction with what I, uh, what I say or what content I bring. But, uh, tutorials and, uh, and design are kind of areas that I find uh, to have a bit of fun with, so I'll probably go that route at some point. a bit of a crafting recipe book um, that's in the corner of the UI. It's still dark out. Hey, the sun is finally rising. Well, I haven't heard any noises over the course of the night, so we might be in good shape. Of course, staying in this little area means that we'll have a bit of a danger zone around us as we head back out to the plains towards those animals. But, uh... But yeah, we have a little bit of a, of a beginning here. Get ourselves a little chest to start putting stuff in. Put that, our first, uh, first pick in. And, um... And we'll get started. I'm fairly certain I'm going to want some fence posts. Oh, we're going to need more wood. <laughs> and a door. <laughs> Alright. This time we're going to go find ourselves a door. Now, like I said, a 20 block circle around us should be clear. Now, well, contrary to popular belief, uh, as leaves despawn, breaking them doesn't actually raise your chances of getting anything back. Which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know. Once you know, you don't waste your time trying to break them. And you might say, Rosalind, why are you breaking all the trees? Don't you want to preserve this landscape? And, um, well, yeah, I do, to a certain degree. Um, I find that, uh, by staying closer to, uh, zero, 00 and closer to spawn, we're going to be keeping, uh, a little bit of better mental tabs on our orientation in the world. And that way we don't have issues with, uh, a very large and confusing world to, be to begin with. Now, sure, we could use maps and compasses and all sorts of stuff like that, but, eh, come on. Gotta do a lot of mining, gotta do a lot of crafting for that, and, uh, well, this is day two. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We can always come back and decorate again later. In case any of you want to follow along at home for our seed, we have uh, this information up here. Okay, that's probably enough wood gathering for now. Hi! You're going to be very useful to us. Yeah, you know it. Don't go hopping in that hole. You know, actually, this hill 
has a lot of the stuff that we're looking for, and it's right next to some plains that have some water. So this is nice. That's a shame about that iron ore earlier. Oh, hi, hi, Mr. Cow. Shame about that iron ore earlier. You could have used that uh, to uh, to get a bucket, but we'll get get to mining sooner soon enough. Instead, what we need right now is some farmland. Three, four, alrighty. taking advantage of the uh, the soil hydrating properties of water and it extends four blocks out you'll notice that this section over here won't actually hydrate but this corner will because it's four blocks away from water and we'll get our seeds and start working our way towards some food To be able to actually herd the uh, the animals and breed them later on, we're gonna need to, uh, you know, you know this space looks really good for that. Let's do that. We'll uh, we'll set up ourselves a little crafting bench right here, and you know what? Let's go over here. Let's take advantage of this uh, nice system. There we go. Check that out. Okay. I am kind of building it in a little bit haphazard fashion, but mm, precision has its place. Here is probably not it. No, I don't know the numbers on if uh, animals can get through gaps like that, so let's get this post. I, of course, mean shoving them exactly where we need them to go. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Sapling. Alrighty. And boop. Ah. Bam. Sorry, Mr. Cow, but you're going to live there from now on. some other animals up here at the top of the hill. They will be nice and join our little ranch. Ooh, I see a pig. Nope. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna go this way, Mr. Cow. Hmm. Where'd that sheep go? There you are. Target acquired. Okay. 
This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, turns out it is. Let's make our way back to our original spawn hut cave thingy. So we can make work on uh, on some shears. Almost. we started from. Hmm. Yeah. A bit of a leap of faith, I'll admit, but uh, it does do the job in a tight spot. There it is. Ooh, I was worried there for a moment. Get in here. Get our super duper high tech door 3000 up. And uh, continue with hiding in the darkness of night. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.